Hi folks, you're with Got That Funk. I was tagged by Edible Napalm, aka all those other names, um, in the Portrait of an Atheist series. And I'm grateful that you tagged me, dude, because I was hoping somebody would. So, let's get to it, right? I think the, um, the first topic was abortion. Well, I think that abortion should be mandatory for anybody who gets pregnant under the age of 16. Abortion should be mandatory for anybody who is pregnant over the age of 45. I think anybody who attends church more than once a month should not be allowed to have an abortion under any circumstance, unless they're under 13, under 16, or over 45, of course. And I think that um, anybody with more than two children should be forced to have abortions thereafter. Topic number two, I think, was the death penalty. Um, I think, uh, basically, the death penalty isn't enforced rigorously enough. I think that everybody on death row should immediately be put to death tomorrow. <clears throat> While we're at it, we might as well empty the prisons completely and uh, make capital punishment the penalty for all crime um, starting tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> next topic, I think, was economics. Well, personally, I think that um, we might as well wrap up democracy. It's a failed experiment, and we should just hand over everything to the corporations. I mean, it's effectively like that now. Um, we might as well just make it official. Um, we could all vote whether we want to be run by Pepsi or McDonald's or Coca-Cola or, you know, Glaxo Welcome or whoever. <clears throat> um, topic number four was, um, what was it? Gay rights. Well, obviously the words gay and rights don't really go together. Um, because we all know gay is wrong. It's not right. It's wrong. So gay rights, well, that's a, that's a non sequitur. That's a, you know, that doesn't really work. And um, <clears throat> last on the list, I think, was drug laws. Well, obviously, I think that um, uh, smoking marijuana should be compulsory um, for everybody over the age of 13. Um, you can get a certificate from your doctor if you have history of mental illness in your family so that we can't force you to smoke pot. But everybody else should be forced to smoke pot at approximately 6 o'clock in the evening after they get home from work. That's important. <clears throat> right, okay, let's, let's get serious here for a second. Um, uh, abortion, I'm pro-choice. My strongest belief is that um, every individual is a sovereign of their own body. And uh, if you follow that through, it logically follows that um, a woman is in charge of what happens to her body, within her body, etc., etc., etc. So, um, I'm pro-choice. Um, that's not to say that I don't recognize some very strong arguments on the other side. I just think they're outweighed by the arguments on the choice side. And I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to make a whole video about that. Death penalty. I'm 1,000% against the death penalty. Uh, I think it's wrong to empower the state with the uh, authority to kill its own citizens. Um, there are all sorts of arguments for and against the death penalty. I think, on balance, the arguments for the death penalty are about like that, and the arguments against the death penalty are like that. So, you know, to me it's really a no-brainer, and I think it's a throwback to a, a, an age that should have died out a long time ago. <clears throat> right. Um, number three, economics. It might sound like a non-sequitur or a you know, a contradiction in terms, but uh, I'm sort of a libertarian socialist. Um, I believe that there are certain aspects of society that uh, need to be run jointly by society, and the government is the best means to institute those sorts of things. Um, for example, health care, law enforcement, the military, um, education, others. <clears throat> but I am a libertarian in the sense that I, I believe individual freedom is sacrosanct, and, uh, you know, again, if you're the sovereign of your own body, that to me, that's where rights come from. If I decide that I think something, I should have the right to do something, then I have to logically extend that right to all other human beings, otherwise it's not a right. It's just me being a dick, um, and I'd rather not be. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, Right, which leads me on to the drug laws as well. For the same reason, I'm sort of anti-prohibition. Um, I'm going to quote Thomas Jefferson um, on this one. Um, Thomas Jefferson once said, I would rather attend the inconveniences of too much liberty than those that would accompany too little a degree of it. 
And that pretty much nails it for me right there. Um, there's always going to be problems, however, we legislate for or against a particular thing. Um, so we should try to find which set of problems is the easiest to bear for society. And I think prohibition creates way more problems than it solves. And um, legalization of drugs would certainly cause some problems. But I think they wouldn't be as bad or, or as long term uh, as the prohibition is. Furthermore, I don't think that I would recommend legalizing all drugs at once. I think they should start with pot and work their way out from there. <clears throat> um, and there could be a great discussion about what could come next and all that sort of thing, but that's not for now. Anyway, and obviously gay rights, anybody who's been watching my channel for any amount of time will know that I'm completely for equal rights for all human beings, um, and I have been a strong, loud voice advocate in favor of gay rights as regards the right to marry and other, other issues. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that uh, people should be judged by what color their hair is or um, whether they have brown eyes or blue eyes, the color of their skin, what they like to read, what they like to eat, who they associate with. Um, you know, you can, make, you can make your own determinations about people on your own criteria by all means, but it shouldn't be legislated for. It shouldn't be the law that we should be allowed to discriminate um, on completely arbitrary means. There's nothing to it. I mean, who someone is in love with and who they decide to be intimate with is nobody else's business but the people involved. The end of discussion. So yeah, I'm obviously for universal rights, including gay rights. Right. <clears throat> I, um, I think that's pretty much going to cover it. Um, I might do a, another video about the death penalty in great depth soon. Um, I used to do a couple of those back in the old days when I had no subscribers, and I think it's time I sort of recap my position. Anyway, right, thanks for watching, and may all your ups and downs be ups. People I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag people I've never tagged before. Um, leave it in the sidebar. Thanks.